right tonight. Wow. The blood of Jesus uh, defeated the forces of darkness. Yeah. All right. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. I'm glad I ain't got to fight my own battle tonight. Uh, the blood of Jesus yeah. of Tacoma, it defeated all forces of darkness. That's why I don't care when enemies come up against me. I'm going to let Jesus uh, fight my battle. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. You see, it was the blood of Jesus that ended slavery. The blood of Jesus took the sting from death. The blood of Jesus snatched the victory from the grave. The blood of Jesus established his church. The blood of Jesus gave us salvation. I tell you there is power yeah. in the blood. Yeah. Tell somebody there's power in the blood. Tell somebody else there's power in the blood. Tell somebody and tell them it ain't about you. It's the blood that covers you. Yes, it was the blood that purchased us. Acts 20 and 28. It was the blood that justifies us. You know what justification is, don't you? Justification says, yeah, 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 you were caught. You were dirty. You were full of sin. You weren't worth the salt in your body. You were caught red-handed. You ain't no good. Ain't never been no good. It wouldn't be no good. But justification says, right. Oh Lord, you can't be right. The Lord could have gave us a million years and man would have never got it right. Am I right about it? Yes, but he justified us. Brethren, as I close, let me leave you with this. When there is unity, I said when there is unity, yeah. among our sister congregations, we have a life that will never see death. A relationship that will never end. I'm talking to our brethren here. We have a righteousness that will never be tarnished. When we keep our unity and don't let the devil win, we have a seal that will never be broken, a bank that will never go bankrupt, peace that will never be disrupted. All Sisters, right. when you keep your unity and don't be rolling your ugly eyes at each other across the aisle, put your hand on your hip and your back don't slip. Remember stuff that happened 10 years ago. I remember what you did. Then. Well, if God remembered everything you did, he would never look at you. We got a love that will never leave us. No adversity will hinder us. No situation will constrain us. No power will control us. No enemy will defeat us. No obstruction will block us. No force will limit us. At the last mile of the way, there will be no burden too heavy. No day too long. No night too dark. No river too wide. No mountain too high. And no valley too low. the shadow of death. When you got unity, you don't have to worry about division. And watch this. Watch this. David said something. And I'm done. David said something in Psalms 27. Watch this. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now watch this. Let me show you something that I've missed. I've been preaching 32 years. I missed this a long time, Brother Coma. David didn't have to say, Whom shall I fear? Mm -hmm. Amen. When he said the Lord is, yeah. number one, he couldn't call the Lord unless he knew the Lord. All right. Tell somebody you gotta have a relationship. Watch this. Then David says, the Lord is mine. He had the no scope with the Lord. Experiential knowledge. He, he, see, it's one thing to be able to call the Lord because you're familiar, but David didn't call him because he had heard about him. He called him because he said, the Lord is mine. Personal problem. Ownership. Intimacy. Yes, sir. When he said he's my light. Yes, sir. And my salvation. In, in, the, in the Hebrew tongue, when he uses that word light, it just doesn't mean that the Lord is the illumination of my life. All right. It doesn't mean that he just lights up. And it refers to a daybreak, and it also refers to the sun. But light also is always related to God. Yeah. So watch this. What David literally says is that he's not only my light, but there's a kinship to that word, that light, uh, 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 I think it's aura, aura, O-R-E. And there's a kinship, which means he just doesn't illuminate my 
my life. He don't just light me up, but he brings me joy. All right, sir. You missed it. All right. You missed it. It's one thing to live in life, but it's one thing to have joy. All right. Okay, 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 okay. How many of you know folk that got big houses, but they ain't got no home? All right. How many of you know folk that sleep in California queen, king beds? More room than they need. Stretch all out. Yes, sir. But they ain't got no rest. All right. Preach. Remember the family. We remember that we won. Yeah. And when you get off of your high horse, take the chip off your shoulder. Talk now. Get about your education. Understand that if you die today, seven days from now we will bury you. Come back to the church and eat chicken and, and, and pound cake. Green beans. And some good cold water. And someone else will keep on doing what you used to do. Amen. So you remember. You remember that we're family. Remember that we're one. Remember it ain't about you, baby. It was all about the blood. And then you will be able to say, Ooh, it's so good. God bless you.